Hello and welcome to this episode of Worldwide Canadian. I'm Tim Clark coming to you from Point Pleasant Park in Halifax. Today, what you do when you get really frustrated with cars that are parked in the EV charging spots. Stick around. So as I told you in the last video, I do take trips uh, once in a while to Halifax on a Monday and a Wednesday and I spend a few hours and it's nice to find a level two charger. My question today has to do with what a person who drives an EV should do when they come across a person who's driving an internal combustion engine and they're parked in an EV charging site. I had that happen to me for the first time today. I arrived on uh, my morning trip to Halifax like I do on Mondays and Wednesdays and I proceeded to the library in Halifax where they have three chargers. Now I took up the last spot that was unoccupied and plugged in and as I was plugging in I looked to my right and I see a Subaru Forester vehicle parked and so he had just pulled in at the same time I did right beside me so I asked him as he was getting out of his car I didn't realize Subaru Forester made a plug-in hybrid or an electric car and he said no it is and uh, so in fact he knew what he was doing because he knew he was parking in the EV spot but what was the solution for me nothing I couldn't really do anything about it and he went up to the library and uh, I went about my way and as I came back two hours later he was still parked there and another electric vehicle had just entered the parking garage and was there to meet somebody else who was parked there and uh, they were going upstairs with their kids to enjoy the library and she was hoping to be able to charge and of course he was in the spot so I'm not sure what the answer is or the solution is I know in some jurisdictions they have uh, ticketing for people who park in EV charging sites when they're not able to use it or not actively charging. That would be a great option in this area, like a accessible handicap parking spot. Um, you know, you can be towed or ticketed and it's quite expensive. So I don't know what the answer is, but for a society who is actively trying to promote buying and driving EVs, it's important for us to have charging spots that are not being blocked by non EVs. So what do you think? Maybe you should comment down in the comments below and let me know what you think uh, would have been a solution. Now, short of me letting the air out of his tires when he wasn't around or doing something non-aggressive, uh, I don't think there's much that I could do other than to report it up to the, um, the library staff. And I know that that probably wouldn't amount to much or, or result in any action, but at least that you'd have satisfaction. In my case, I snapped a photo of his license plate and I want to send it out to everybody because there's no rules against posting a license plate in public place here's the guy's license plate he should be ashamed i guess that's the best that i can do well that's it for me here i'm worldwide canadian please like and subscribe and click on that bell icon if you want to see more of my content in the meantime i look forward to any comments and uh, let me know what you would have done in this situation that's it for now see you next time right here on worldwide canadian